live. <laughs> it is happening. Um, hi, everybody. It's me and Josie. Hi. Can you um, see our feed, Joe? I don't see our feed yet. Mm. Oh, it's just, it's starting to load this minute. Here we are. Oh, good. Okay. Awesome. Yay. So I think just so we, you and I know, there's a little bit of a lag between what we're saying and what is being streamed out. Good to know. Good, yeah, to, good to know. know. Yeah. All right. Tell me when. Well, let's let's get started. We've got some viewers already. Oh, we do? Oh my gosh. Yes, Welcome everybody. Just a few. We do. Exciting. This is our first live. We decided to do this just for fun. Joe and I have been online friends since um, you know, we bonded over Stitch Fix many years ago, and, and we just, I don't know, I just love her unboxing videos, and I thought it would be a great idea to merge the two into one fun spring Stitch Fix party. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me, Christine, and yeah, I love your videos. You know that, yes. and you know, you've become a dear friend, and yeah, it's so I'm fun. really, really glad that we get to have fun together with... Um, with everyone who's here and yeah. also the great thing about lives are they get recorded yeah. and um, anyone can watch it afterwards if they weren't able to join us on the Sunday afternoon on, on International Women's, Women's Day. Day yay <laughs> <laughs> we um, did not plan that viewers that totally happened just like magic um, synchronicity yes I love it and I want to make sure everybody can hear both of us okay yeah. because we had a little bit of tech problems if you're if you're on the line and you're watching, the, if, if you could drop in the comment that you can hear us both would be great. Um, we'll just assume that you can. But mm -hmm. um, and so the agenda for today is, you know, we're just going to have a fun time. Joe and I each ordered our stitch fix um, our fixes, and we're going to unbox them. And then Joe had the great idea of doing a separate video with the try on after so you can see how everything looks kind of in our normal format but if you're here with the slide you can unbox with us yes so i'm just i'm keeping um kind of my eye on the chat window as well so if anyone wants to type in some comments to us we'll get to see it yeah if you're All in right. the mood let us know where you're from yeah. i'm yeah, in i'm in la area hi susan um, and awesome. it looks like you can hear. Yes, Tanny. Thank Yay. you. Good. Thank Perfect. you. Thank that you. Was, we, we said a Hail Mary before the broadcast to make sure because we had some tech in the practice, some tech problems. So a good hi, yeah. Tammy. Yay, training Tammy's here. And Adore Susan. Her. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. So, hi, Tammy. Just for everyone to understand, I'm actually in Washington State. Um, so, you know, we're we're doing the West Coast thing, but we're not in the same venue. So <laughs> we had to figure out some technology in order to do this today. Yeah. And but if you yeah. guys like it, let us know and we'll do it again or we'll do, do other that. topics. Or Oh, you got there's a lot of Michigan people here. Welcome. Oh, I'm from Michigan originally, but you didn't know that. Um, but Tammy knew it. Yeah. Cool. Um, so let's just dive in. I mean, we're only three minutes into the broadcast and we don't actually know how long it's going to go, but um, we would love to hear as we unbox like your comments, like if you have something similar. I, I requested, like tell us what you requested. I requested spring. I did too. So I'm actually going on a little trip to New Orleans this week. So I said to my stylist, Emily, send me spring things. But also think about New Orleans because in Washington it's kind of still cool, but I'm going to be somewhere quite hot and humid. Mm -hmm. um, we also have plans to go to a, like a fancy lunch uh, one day. And so I know I need to dress up because, you know, southern hospitality requires a little <laughs> bit more fanciness than we're on the West Coast are used to. Right. So a little more finesse. I kind of asked her just like play with it. Um, so I'm excited to see what you found for me. Yeah, that sounds great. I think I was a little mm -hmm. more generic. I like that you were... Um, more specific and I'm curious to see if she's able to kind of match up with your requests and one thing I wanted to mention is when we were doing a practice we had this big discussion about um, maybe doing you doing a post about tips and how to get a good fix and mm -hmm. so we thought mm -hmm. we could you know if those work out to chit chat about today but otherwise we'll do a video about that because um, we realized that we both had some really good tips for how to get yeah. a great fix uh, before you unbox, I want to say hi, Melissa Jackson from Glendale. Mm -hmm. You're right around the corner from me, so hi. And then mm -hmm. hi to Mary Beth, Philadelphia. Yay! <laughs> and then Meredith joined us from Minnesota. So we have a oh, lot of Midwest um, representation. Thanks, guys, hey. for keeping us grounded. Yeah. Otherwise, us West Coasters, we just go off. <laughs> yeah, it's true. 
Um, did you? Is it cold where you guys are? I know it's cold in Michigan and Minnesota. Glendale probably not so much, but Philadelphia is cold. Yeah, it's kind of springish, but probably still mm -hmm. not quite till like sleeveless weather or what am I trying to say? Jacketless. Um, all right, so Joe, why don't you kick us off here? All right, so got my box. It arrived this week. It was hell not to open it. I know, me but too. I had to wait. I had to wait for the I live. Know, me too. Um, because I usually am one of those people who will just open it as soon as I can. Um, me too. Christine, are you a peeker? Do you peek? Oh, uh, absolutely. I peek. Yeah. Um, I like within as soon as I get that email, your stitch fix is on the way. I'm like peeking in the app for sure. But I'm, but me one too. of the things is I it doesn't really spoil it for me because things look really different in person. So yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. But let's actually. Do you mind if I dig in? Because yes, dig it. Just because I saw it on the app doesn't mean I don't want to, you know. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Got Ooh. all of the usual stuff. My notes. Sweet. People um, are saying it's like mostly 50 degrees-ish where people are. So that's that's perfect. That's spring. Oh, and Mary Beth, thank you for telling me mid to high 70s in New Orleans this week. Yeah, oh. I saw that. So it's going to be hot. It's going to feel hot to me too. Yeah. All right. Let's look at the bundle. Here we go. Ooh. So nice. What is that blue? The blue's gorgeous. It's a nice cobalt blue, and there's some mm -hmm. prints it looks like. Mm -hmm. So um, those of you who maybe don't know me as well, my colors, I tend to kind of gravitate towards darker colors. So mm -hmm. don't worry that this doesn't look springy. This is my kind of spring. <laughs> it is a dark palette. Yes, I hear you. I hear you on and that one. And then I've also got a handbag. <gasps> Ooh. So this actually wasn't separately um, packaged, so oh, oh. Maybe we can have a look at that. Um, awesome. Yeah, so what should I do? Should I first do the handbag? Should I do the bundle? Hmm. Um, do you want to? Do you want to just like peek at your stylist note, just yeah, to get us idea. grounded in the reality, see how she did if she read your request? <laughs> do you have the All same right. stylist the whole time? So I've had the same stylus now since last fall. At one point I said, oh, I don't care. You can change stylus. And then the next fix I did not enjoy at all. So I reached out to um, customer service and I said, can you bring me back, Emily, because I liked her. Mm -hmm. So my feeling about Emily is that her and my style is a little different. She leans a little bit more preppy. Mm -hmm. However, she is excellent at putting together outfits and ideas and kind mm -hmm. of getting me a little out of my comfort zone, nice. especially when it comes to color. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I want to stick with her. Great. Um, I'm just quickly reviewing the, I'm not going to read the whole note, but she's, she very much is on board for New Orleans and she's, you know, she's, oh, there's a jumpsuit in here. That's going to be fun. Oh. Um, and that she, she was thinking very clearly about me, like exploring the city. So there's a casual oh. outfit and then also some dressier options. Ooh, nice. And then this bag, actually, this is great because a few fixes ago, I put in a note saying I'm low on accessories, mm -hmm. including like a crossbody bag. And I've noticed in every fix since she's tried to send me at least one of those accessory items. Oh, good. I like that. I mean, that's, you know, I'm not having to repeat that. It's obviously she's taking care. So this is yeah. a crossbody I love the color it's kind of yeah. like a, a very like a versatile sort of butternut type color it's really great it's interesting because it's not so usual tan um sort of neutral it's definitely got some like like you said like a golden rod or almost a mustardy color it mm -hmm. is real leather though it feels yeah. really nice I'll be honest I'm not always a fan of these cross this like Cl you know, oh, one, the flap and then it's got that zip at the top yeah you know, the, but, so, you know, it's in there is where you all find the, the strap and there's yeah. another. But it's actually got a front pocket and a back pocket. Oh. So, it's possible. Okay, so I'm going to give a little, uh, what's the word? I'll be clear Critique. on that. little cheat that I did. <laughs> because I saw this come up in the app. Yeah. I saw the, um, the label, the name was Abel. And I was like, what is this? Because it is priced a little pricier. Oh. Sorry, I'm going to get this out. Get it. Turns, turns out it's a sustainable brand. Oh, how cool is that? So that got me really excited. Yeah, Sweet. I've run for 148 So that's a little pricey for me for bags. It's an investment. Investment bag. Real leather. It's a, um, a brand that when I looked into it, found out like they do 
I think they work with all women, um, fair trade cool. artists. And so what I'm paying for here is the fair trade. Yeah. Day. Yeah. It's International Women's Day, right? Right. Yeah. This is Definitely. this is saying I you know so it is nice. I'm not sure it's for me, I'll be honest, just because of the zippy issue. What's the crossbody? It's not like a is it leather or is it like Okay, good. Because you know how good sometimes question. they do a chain, they call a chain a crossbody, and yeah. it's so not. I'm, not. I'm not a big chain person. No. Because I always find, like, I don't know about you, but sometimes it catches on clothes, mm-hmm. and then you end up with that. So this is yeah. leather, and look, there's an adjustable. Oh, good. It's nice. It's really nice. So I'll see how it feels. Try it but on with cross- your stuff. Exactly. Don't you find with crossbodies, you actually have to try it out to Yeah, see. for sure. And see if it's, but, it falls right and it's sized okay. And- Okay, so let me get into the bundle. This is the exciting part. Get it. <laughs> what do you guys think about it. the purse? It, drop in the comments if what you think. Yeah. Sorry, that's very noisy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So first up, it looks like a tea. Ooh, that it's looks very beautiful. Dreamy. It's a nice cobalt, cobalt blue, and it's got gorgeous. a little pocket. Looks like a V-neck. I love that. That's gorgeous. Oh, it's high-low. Um, I think so, but it doesn't... Sorry, my... I'm not Uh-oh. used to talking with these in, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, it is a slight high-low, but I mean, I like that sometimes in a t-shirt, especially yeah, in shorts. Me too. Yeah, sometimes you just need that. Well, the, uh, the color looks elegant where you could make it look polished and dressy, even though it's like a casual piece. It's perfect for New Orleans, it looks like. Yeah, I, and it's very, very nice. It's it's somewhat thin, but it's not mm-hmm. see-through, and it's got a nice, like, stretch to it. It's super soft. Is it a it's jersey, a, like a stretch jersey? Yeah, a little bit, but it's very breathable. It doesn't, it's not like a synthetic feel. Um The brand is Cupio, and it's the mm-hmm. Branson Pocket Detail Knit Top. Cobalt in size one X. I can't wait to see that on you. That that looks no, like it's going to be a hit. Um, and it runs for twenty eight dollars. Wow! Yeah, God, you can't pass that up. Okay, if this fits, I'm totally good. <laughs> it looks like a win. A good tea, right? Yeah, totally. All right, next up is this is a print. Now, if you know me, you know I don't do a lot of prints, so definitely out of my comfort zone. It's but it's a nice. It's a small floral. Oops. The tags are getting all stuck. Um, it's a small flight. This must be the jumpsuit, I bet you. So look at the... People are loving the... the there's comments rolling in about the, la- the the top from before, and they're loving the colors. Okay, good, good. Yeah, so... So now this is... Is this velvet? velvet. What is it? Oh, it's like no, a No, no, no. It's just a, it? it's a jumpsuit. Uh, this oh, is this is the jumpsuit. <laughs> wow. It looks like it's one Side leg, like maybe culotte style, mm. but it's. But you know what I like? Look, it's got a it's got a belt that, yeah. but actually is the same fabric. Um, print. But then at the back, it's one of those elastic, oh, so which is really great for someone who doesn't have a, much of a waist like me. This is mm. kind of nice. That is it's gonna, nice. It's gonna cinch it in. Um, it's by it's by the brand City Chic, which oh. is quite a well known plus brand. Mm-hmm. They are kind of more premium premium-ish their, their prices mm-hmm. are usually quite a bit but I have tried on I haven't tried on this before but I've tried on other things by them and their fit is usually excellent mm-hmm. so this I is can't exciting wait to see I that. bet you this is what you're thinking for the fancy lunch yes and what's the neckline Joe is it like a V it's hard to tell because I'm trying to show I want to see if I can show you it's Mary Beth is saying it's the Capri yeah. jumpsuit and I'm wondering if you have that jumpsuit Mary Beth oh maybe Oh, she says it pops up in her shop feature. Oh. You know what, Mary Beth? This popped up in my shop feature too. <laughs> and I think that I, I decided not to buy it, but I think I might have pinned it, um, oh. which I sometimes do. I don't know if you do that, Christina. I just a, Absolutely. You know, I'll just screenshot what I saw in the shop, your, your look yep. feature, and I'll put it on Pinterest because All the I don't time. always want to buy it, but I want them to see things I like. Yes. Anyway. Definitely. So, it's a good way to do that. This. It's a very unique. Can you see it all? That it's sort of like a sweetheart neckline. But yeah. There are, oh yeah. There's like these panels. It's of overlay Pretty print. and like knife feet. Yeah. I'm interested to see what this will look like. It's got a really great long zip all the way at the back. Oh, um, that's nice. Good. Okay, I need to know from you. What is your feeling about jumpsuits and toilets? 
and going to the bar. <laughs> you know what? It's just like one of those devils, like you just got to do it because you, you're like half naked in the bathroom. There's no, you got no choice. <laughs> so I actually have a, a preteen um, uh, like jumpsuit story that I had this jumpsuit that was dusty rose corduroy long sleeve do you, and it was kind of early 80s so may, think about like charlie's angels but what was my favorite angel kate oh kate jackson, jackson. she used to wear those kind of jumpsuits do you remember anyway yeah. i had this jumpsuit i loved it i went to the bathroom and at some like picnic and it like in a park oh, no. and i you know unzipped it and the long sleeve fell <laughs> into the toilet and i remember for the and then i tried to rinse it off in the in the <laughs> the bathroom and so my memory of ju- this is why I'm always worried about jumpsuits I'm yeah. like oh my god am I going to have toilet on the whole day <laughs> that's especially traumatizing <laughs> so let's hope that this yes. jumpsuit get me over that childhood trauma yeah exactly let's, let's get- <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see your, your trying video is going to be great because there's so uh, many pieces that look like they're going to be really fun all right, so let's get into. Sorry, I feel like I'm chit chatting too much. No, you do. This is great. These are some really nice denim, is, denim oh, shorts. They're kind perfect. of Bermuda length. Nice. Yeah. Just simple dark wash, no distressing by. Are they cut? Democracy. Oh, democracy. Interesting. So they've got a little cuff. Those are great. I like that dark nice. wash. So I've tried on Ponte pants by Democracy before, and they were a brilliant fit. Mm. So I'm hopeful on this. Great. It's got like got like one of those um, extra strength banding that gives mm-hmm. a little bit of a tummy tuck. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love it. And that goes Not with the top. top. Control, whatever, yeah. Yeah, so I know I'm what thinking this probably goes with that. The blue. Yeah, love it. The cute sandals or flats of some sort. Yeah, I'm thinking, or even my books, like just this would be perfect for one of those 70 plus days wandering mm-hmm. around New Orleans where all I want to do is like drink iced coffee and <laughs> look at local arts. That would be like perfect. All right, last yeah. thing. It's olive, which is definitely my colors. It is like a, let's see. Okay, it's a dress. It's like a, sh- let me see if I can see. It's like a shirt dress. Oh, ooh, I love that. Isn't that nice? Yes. It's got that looks great. Got sleeves that are not tabbed right now. It's a very soft, um, it's actually very mm. similar to this blue. Mm-hmm. Soft jersey. Very, very soft, like, jersey knits. So that's, we should drape well. Sometimes I worry about that and, like, if it's going to stick to the bumps and the lumps, you know? Yeah, that's the problem with that thin weight. Like, it's, sometimes it's fine to do it up top, but then when you get in, like, the butt area, it's like, if, I always feel a little vulnerable when my fabric's too thin. Yeah, but it's got some nice detailing. I really mm-hmm. like the buttons of these front pockets. And it, then it's got actually an elasticized waist. So you ooh. could put a little belt over it, like, Cute. if that works well. Yeah, you could also throw like a pair of capri leggings on underneath just to have like that I wonder, sense. I wonder how long it, it, see, it looks pretty long. Like midi? It looks like midi, which on me is going to be almost a <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're, you have, um, what did you tell me you were, 5'3"? I'm 5'3 and a bit. And some change. So, and some change, but like small change. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah. No, so anyway, good. so that's that's my fix. So let's, let's recap. I yeah, got recap it. And people are saying they love democracy. Just some feedback. That's awesome. Yeah. I think I think so too. I mean, who doesn't love democracy, right? Let's vote on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this we gal. Got, yeah, exactly. So we got a pair of jean shorts with love a it. tee. That's love one whole outfit. Love Perfect. it. Perfect. Um, we got a nice dress, which I can see wearing to that fancy lunch, or mm. else late, like in the evening as it cools down, if I'm going to go see live music, I think with some sandals or booties, this yes. would be quite cute. And somebody else and said um, tennis shoes or pull-on Converse sneakers would be great for to make it actually, casual. Actually, that is true. Yeah, that. Good point. And yeah, then cute. the exciting jumpsuit. I think, yes. that's, to be honest, I think this might be what the hero piece of the box for me. I'm it's kind of cute. excited to try this on. If this works for me, it's Definitely out of my comfort zone, which yeah. is a good thing. It's fun. But it also feels like it feels like it's appropriate for where I'm going because sometimes I can be a little too casual, or then when I try and dress up, get a little too businessy. So this is still in that yes. fun space. So and it's all about fit thing, on that one. 
exactly the last thing, of course, is the bag. The crossbody. So Good stuff, see. though. Price-wise, sorry, guys, I, t- I kind of forgot to give you all the prices, but if I pick, if I took everything, the whole retail price is 401 because they're two expensive items. Yeah. That crossbody bag for 148 Oh, right. And the, the City Chic jumpsuit is, is 119 So those are two pricey items. Very. That's definitely... But I have told them, send at least one luxury item per box. Yeah. It's actually something I asked them to put in because I want to try some of the luxury goods. Yeah. I don't have to buy it, but I like I like to try and see because it helps me figure out the lower point. Is it worth it? You yeah. Because sometimes quality, not so much. So that's it. Let's Fantastic. see. Fantastic. Questions. I'm just looking at the chat. Yeah, and I had a new, like, strange thing pop up on my screen, so I just want to make sure we're still we're still live because now I have, like, I think we are because okay. I can see it on. I, okay. I'm, I've got so everyone knows I've got double monitors going on just I know. so I can keep it. I do yeah. my best with the tech, you guys, but you know how it is. <laughs> that was a great fix, Joe. I can't wait I to think see so. that. On you. I'll be honest, this is the first time in a long time I've looked at the preview and I've touched everything and I thought, hmm, if everything works, this could be a five for five. Yeah. And I'm picky. I usually don't. I usually don't. Same. So yeah, Same. I'm excited to see what you what you're All getting. Right. Let's dive in. And by the way, if you guys like this, I, I might have mentioned at the beginning, but let us know and we'll do more, you know, like we just wanted to do this for fun to see if it was, you know, gonna work out. But if and if you enjoy it, let us know. Or if you can think of um, Tanny's is great fix, I thought it was too. Or if you can think of other topics you might like to hear us chit chat about, let us know. Um, okay, so I asked for spring, and I have the same stylist named Kana, who's fantastic. Um, and so she talks about each individual piece. So rather than redo the whole note, um, she definitely and she actually made a comment about. Um, are live, so maybe she's watching, I don't know. Oh, good. Yeah, I told her we were doing a, a live and I wanted some springy stuff, and so she mentioned it. Let's see, um, she says, where are you going for your fancy lunch? Where are you going, yeah. Joe? So I'm going to um, Commander's Palace. Um, I haven't been there before. It's a, it's a. if you see it, if, if you like search for places to go in New Orleans, it always comes up as this like turquoise building. I've Ooh. seen it every time I've been there. Oh, cool. So I thought, why not? Let's try it. They have uh, 25 cent martinis at lunchtime, which just sounds perfect. (laughs) Trouble, yes. (laughs) But 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 everything else is kind of like high end, and it's definitely a fancy place. And men, they you know they request the gentlemen wear jackets, for instance. So that's not our usual spot. Yeah. But I thought, why not? Oh, that sounds like fun. You gotta do that stuff sometimes. That's cool. Yeah, exactly. I love New Orleans too. Yeah. All right, kids. Let's so let's see. see. What, what have you got? All right. So here's the bundle. It looks like mm. something striped, floral, embroidered, pair of jeans. And then have you guys seen the new Stitch Fix shoe, shoe bag? So I guess I got a pair of shoes. Let's dive in there. See what we got. So I like that they've changed the, the bag, I have to say. I do, this, too. This, seem, this seems like it's a higher quality um way to keep shoes and to travel with them. Oh, those are yeah, cute. Yeah, so these are Toms, nice. and they are, um, are they leather? They No, are they? Let's see. No, it's 100% fabrication. It doesn't say that it's not leather, but it sure feels like it. But it's kind of like a, um, it's a tiny leopard, mm-hmm. pointed toe flat Toms. And I, I asked for some spring Toms, and so I think this is a good choice. Now, I will say, and I'll do this in the try-in, I have another pair from Lucky Brand that are very, very, very similar, so it might not be worth getting both, but these look comfortable. So that's the shoe. I like the overlay that they have at the front there. There's a way in which the, the leather kind of has this crisscross that makes mm-hmm. it a bit more unique. Look at mm-hmm. that. Really yeah. nice. Yeah, and I will say the ones that I have by Lucky um, – I love them, but they're not super comfortable. Like, they tend to dig into my foot somewhere in this area. And Toms tend to be comfortable no matter what they do. So maybe they're going to be something that is more comfortable, in which case I'd probably wear them more. All right, let's dive into this um, bundle here. Now, my stylist knows I'm like a big hoodie zip-up kind of person. Mm. Tammy's digging the shoe. I know it's cute. A lot of people are, yeah. Melissa, Tammy, Meredith. Gail all okay. like love the shoe. It's okay. super cute. Okay, so first item is a hoodie in a white stripe 
with gray, I mean white background with gray stripes by um, Chaser, which does typically like whimsical type pieces like printed tees and fun tees like this. Um, it, it actually looks, you know how they do the um, fabric where it's the outside's really the inside of the knit? You know what I mean? Where mm -hmm. they flip it. That's kind of what this looks like. So the pearl side, I guess, is um, on the outside. But then the fabric, I don't know if you can see it, is like a brushed, uh, mm. almost like a fleecy type thing. So this looks very cozy. Right for my is that, side. Is that like a French terry? No, it almost feels like a brushed, I would say fleece, but I know it's not fleece, but it's sort of like just oh, like a brushed jersey. Um, it's very, it's pretty substantial. So it'd be a good little like spring type cover yeah. up. Get it it the looks middle. cozy. It looks yes, cozy for very like cozy. the beach walks, mm -hmm. you know, if, as the breeze comes up in the evening. Definitely. And the arms look nice and long, which you know I love. Um, it has a band around the bottom, which you know I don't love, but in a jacket like this, it could be okay. So it's very cute. I like it. And let's see the price on that. Um, don't you hate it how they don't put the price on this one? Ah, uh, good point. I actually, to be honest, I've started just looking at the, the, the star cards. I just look on the app because yeah, the just printed easier. quality just isn't as good as it is digitally. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the mm. way, you guys, this is my 108th stitch Woo! fix. <laughs> it's like really getting up there. Um, okay, yeah. so this one is $58. That's by Chaser. That's not bad for Chaser, actually. Chaser yeah, can be quite Their pricey. tops are 58 exactly. Okay, this next one is very cute. It's by Collective Concepts, oh, and cute. it's like very peasanty. It has like a um, peasant sort of neckline, and then I'll show you the back. It's a you know what do you call that smocking smocking yeah smocking yeah let me see if I can get you a close up on that print you see that the print's lovely though I really like the small floral I do too and it has a, an elastic at the shoulder so it'll stay put you know how sometimes those do you think it's, is it is it meant to be like a off the shoulder one of those like half off half on so you know here's what I'm the picture about? yeah it looks oh, like yeah. a wide neck. And mm. I like the shoulder. My only issue, which will happen in the try-on, is if it's too short. So, mm. so if, somebody mentioned um, in, in a comment on my last video um, that she had a long torso. And she's like, I wonder, do you have a long torso too, or did you just discover? And I can't answer that question because it seems like I do, but I don't know. And it's not, it's, it's not, I guess it's probably on the longer side. So I, let's just put it this way. I hate it when my tops ride up and... So this looks like it could be in danger I think, of that. I think that's a trend thing as well. I feel like tops are, they're sort of inching towards, they're maybe not quite cropped, but they're not yeah. really full length either. Yeah. So it, it can be awkward. Yeah, it's not my favorite leg. But this one actually looks like it could go either way. And it, the smocking mm. looks like it would be fitted in the right places, you know, mm. like not necessarily fitted at the, excuse me, the And waist. are those workable buttons down the front? Let's see, shall we? Um, yeah, they are. Ooh, <laughs> so you can do some of that, like, I don't know. Um, this makes me think of Ren Fair. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> <But it's, laughs> it's still a Ren Fair. It totally is. All right, this is going to be interesting to see in the try-on, I think. It is going to be. Yeah. Okay, next piece is a, I would call this a mold wine type shade of, mm. um, you know, embroidered, long-sleeved, by guys are blue. This one is fifty-eight. Not a bad price. That's that's lovely. I like that. Yeah, um, I like it because it's uh, you know kind of on the, like a simple side. You know, just with just your Bermuda shorts like you have, Joe. Um, that could be a really yeah. cute look. I don't know how do you I guys feel like that's the kind of boho that never really goes out of style. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Like How do you feel about this darker color for spring and summer? I don't have a problem, but I wear generally darker colors. I mean, it's it's interesting. I feel like the spring this year, there's a lot of more saturated tones, right? Yeah, I would say so. Melissa's loving it. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Okay, this will be a cute try to see if it's like my style. I do like it, though. I think it's really mm -hmm. cute. Um, and last in the bundle are a pair of jeans uh, by, let's see, these are by 
driftwood. They're the Colette embroidery scissor cut for 108. And I think the special bit is the bottom. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I like me. Is that beading and embroidery? It's just embroidery. Can you see that? It's just like yeah. a, yeah. And it's it's got like a variety of like muted colors, which I like. Now, I would mm -hmm. say I'm not typically, um, I don't wear a lot of this type of boho bottoms. You know, I can throw it in in the, t mm -hmm. in the top occasionally, but... Um, this is a little more like um, sun dance than I typically go. If you yeah, know I mean. yeah. Um, but I'm curious to see how they look on because this can be like a really fun year-round jean. Um, so well, it's interesting. I was looking at that embroidery. Oh, it's on the. That's that's kind of cool that it's on the. Um, oh, sorry, the, the band. Yeah, I don't yeah, know why I waste lost my word. But what I found interesting is, you know, often with those embroidery jeans, it's very floral and very big. But there's a way in which that, with the southwest colors and the, it's it's and it being more geometric, it's quite subtle. Yeah, it is a subtle. A lot of detail. Is it? It's interesting, isn't it? Because it's a lot of detail, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's quite subtle. Yeah, Gail says it reminds her of the seventies. Totally. Yeah, it totally does. There's a little cute. flowery, flowery button. Um, yeah, these will be interesting to see, but yeah, they're very 70s. There's a little bit of whispering right there, mm -hmm. and typically I go for th like things that aren't quite as distressed. I go for right. more of a vintage look, but I always really appreciate when my stylist sends me stuff like this because then I can see, you know, new things and see if I like what it. What do you think of the cut of those? Do you feel, is it a boyfriend or do you think it's more of a straight I'm going to call it straight up straight leg. This is definitely okay. not a boyfriend. It looks like they're going to mm. be more fitted in the thigh and then... Um, just straight here, so... They don't uh, even look that cropped, honestly. They look like they're almost yeah. full length, just with sort of a distressed hem. Yeah. Interesting. I think you're right. And then what's nice is the pockets are sort of plain. I like that. I like the pockets. Mm -hmm. But they've got that little, like, there's a curve there, which is I think is going it's, to, it's kind of enhances the butt. Yes. And if you noticed. There's some butt enhancement happening. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> now, um, uh, Tani asked about washing these. It just yeah. is machine wash or hand wash tumble dry, which I just hang my jeans dry. Um, I expect they would fade a little bit and maybe mm -hmm. like not shrink because they're definitely um, very, very stretchy. Like these look like maybe pretty oh, comfy. Nice. Yeah. Um, let's see. Mary Beth says she loves this drift with jeans, but alas, they don't make them in plus size. Oh, they don't. That is, Dang it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it well, is. and Mary Beth had a great idea for you early on about that, um, that wine color peasant top to mm -hmm. pair it with some white denim capris oh that's a great idea yeah and yeah. then maybe some tan type sandals or uh, mm -hmm. platforms or something mm -hmm. yeah, yeah i could see that that's a, that's a really classy look good suggestion yeah. <laughs> um yeah so we'll see what these all shape up to be but i think this is a pretty good fix it's like really fun I think kind so of too. wear out of the box type stuff I think it was consistent and co uh, cohesive in color as well. Yeah, you know, for because sure. even the most the, the the that top with that has the little um, floral on it has still one. got the same that sort of maroon wine in it as mm -hmm. the other one does, which You're is right. really interesting. Yeah, and I actually yeah. really like these colors, like the, that sort of okay. mauve and wine color is just right up my mm -hmm. alley. And then this whole box comes to um, <clears throat> after the discount. Uh, two seventy four fifty, so not That's too bad. Reasonable. Mm -hmm. So nice. it's so it's and don't forget the shoes, the jeans. Look at cute little. She put some cute outfits together. It is. It she is always a does a nice job. She has really good uh, taste, and she, like your stylist, she always puts nice outfits together. So. Um, oh, and I like, I was thinking, you know, that little Chase's um, stripes hoodie could go with the jeans even. So even though the jeans sort of feel more boho. The striped hoodie could then kind of like temper that look out. Yeah, good as well. point. This thing is mm. cozy. Like I have it on Especially my lap. Like, oh, it's mm. so nice. I cannot wait. So let us know what do you what would you guys keep? Yeah. Let's start with Joe. Like what's what what are the pieces in her fix that you felt were really strong? And then then just you know drop in the comments what pieces in my fix you are curious to see and you think are strong. Well, and, I think. I'll tell you, for me, I think that the jumpsuit might be strong, but that's, uh, to be honest, if I got it in another fix, I might not have been that excited, mm -hmm. but because I have this event that I'm going to, and I think this might actually yeah. work, mm. Yeah. so we'll see. Yeah, the ones that I'm excited about, I don't know why, well, this one's kind of a no-brainer for me, 
yeah. uh, just because it's so functional. But I have other things yeah. like it. So um, this is fresh. Like I don't, mm. you know what, Jill? This is like this is like the '90s. Like my back in my Betsy Johnson days. That's, That's what, what I was thinking. Me it of. reminds it reminds me also of what like. I would go and look for in Urban Outfitters mm-hmm. and Anthropology when they first opened, like, yeah, exactly. like eight nineties ish. Yep, I agree. So this one, this one could be really cute. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that one looks. I typically look pretty good in the wide, um, like high but wide necklines. So let's see, um, Mary Mary Beth. She says I would keep everything but, but the, the purse. purse. Yeah. We'll have to see how that purse looks because it's very cute. Melissa says, for Joe, the jumpsuit, the blouse, and the dress. Yeah, so not the shorts, okay. Okay. And everyone, I think everyone likes that jumpsuit. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So, you know, it might be one of those things where I have to do some, if everything fits, I might have to do some stitch fix math and decide to see whether it's worth keeping all five. I generally don't do that, but with an expensive box like this, it might actually make more sense to get the full discount yeah. and then consign or put on Poshmark what, what I don't mm-hmm. keep. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we'll see. Mm-hmm. But it looks like people are coming in with some votes for you. Let's see. Um, so Tammy is saying the jeans and the floral top. Cute. Tammy yeah. is saying the striped hoodie and the wine top. Oh. And Mary Beth is five for five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, calm down, Mary Beth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it could be a five for five. We we don't know at this point, but um, this has been so much fun. Like I've just really enjoyed yeah. this. I feel like the time flew by. We've already been on for about uh, thirty five minutes. And mm-hmm. um, oh, okay, thanks, Melissa. Saying boho blouse and maybe the jeans. People are loving the jeans. I'm surprised. Yeah. That's great. I mean, I'm not surprised because they're obviously very cute. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, cool. Well, I can't wait to see now, Joe. You were going to put your um, try on video up today or tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. So after we wrap up, I'll I'll do. I want to try everything on, and I'll film it for everyone, and just and pop up a short. It will be shorter than my usual videos over on my channel. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that should be up by tomorrow. And and then, but you know what? If we've got a few minutes, do you want to maybe chat about some of our um, tips for getting a good fix? Yes, and I just see cranky grandma just came on. Oh yes, Yay! all the way from New Zealand. Yay! Oh my gosh, what a treat! <laughs> you just saw her, which I is, was obsessed with. I think that's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you who don't know, um, cranky grandma is another um, YouTube channel uh, person that we're friendly with, and I got to meet her in person last week when she was visiting the area. So that was a treat. It's yeah. always nice to meet people you know you've known virtually for. For years, you yeah. know, we, we, get, we get to know each other. Yeah, so. that's really great. I know. So, so hi to you, Miss CG. And <laughs> ever see, everybody knows her. She is like the popular, she's Miss Congeniality here on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Um, okay, now we were going to chit chat briefly. What did you say, Joe? Yes. So, we, we have, you know, we've talked before about what, how to get a good fix. Mm-hmm. You know, what. What are ways that you can help your stylist really knock it out of the park? Um, and I'll say for me, I think it has a lot to do with the expectations that we have as customers right, and yes. what we expect of them because, you know, there, there's a lot of logistics involved in what inventory they have available. So I've kind of, for myself, have learned to step back from saying I need ABC type of items and talk more about a vibe I'm going for an event you know my last fix I said hey I love to go out to brunch with my bestie on Sundays can you send me a brunch outfit you know that kind of thing so it's very I give them quite I mean I give them some direction but it's wide I'm not saying it has to be jeans or a dress and the you know yeah and I'm finding that that's really helping a lot it's sort of I'm giving them a concept yeah that's a good way to put it giving them a concept Mm. I find that same thing like I have a pretty um, robust Pinterest board at this point, and I keep adding to it so they don't have to scroll down. They can just kind of see in general what 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 I'm into new. But you're right, like keeping it um, more general because I know that um, you know you can look when you start seeing in the app the shop shop your looks and you start seeing the same things pop up over and over again. You know that it's like you know they probably don't have like a giant selection of inventory, um, and so right. some of it probably is based on. Um, what's available at the time. I mean, think about it. They have to send, like, they have so many clothes that are going out, mm-hmm. resting at people's homes, and then coming back. So I can't even imagine right. what that, trying to manage that inventory would be like. It would be crazy. Um, so, and, yeah. yeah. 
For sure. And I think that for someone like me who's who's in the in-betweener and on the plus side, I, I know for sure they just have less inventory for us. We're a smaller mm-hmm. portion of their um, client base, so they yeah. just don't have as much selection. It's not like they don't have beautiful things. You just sold the box I got. Yeah. But if I if I'm being very prescriptive in what I expect, mm-hmm. um, it's it's never works out well. So I've really found the the like like this one saying I've got a trip coming up. This yeah. is what I'm going to be doing. I'm yeah. going to be wandering around a city where it's going to be hot, and I've got at least one fancy um, sort of event. Let's see what you've got. Yeah. And I think she did a great job. Yeah, I I, I think so too. Like keeping it yeah. general, but giving them a sense. Like like. Creating some engagement with your stylist because it's hard to communicate mm. necessarily. You've got your note and then yeah. you've got your Pinterest board. And I think those are t- two really key tools for getting better fixes. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think when you do get too granular about send me this exact top, that it yeah. it bypasses the, the main function of Stitch Fix where it's like, here's my style. Tell me, tell me what to wear, you know, or surprise mm-hmm. me, um, you know. So trying to use it more as a, as a shopping service is, I don't think it's going to be as um, uh, it's not the result is not going to be as great as if you just kind yeah. of keep it general. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Hi, Carolyn. <laughs> she's on. She's yeah, on. Yeah, it looks like we had a bunch of people um, pop on. So for those of you who've just popped on more recently, we did uh, sort of unbox each of our fixes. Um, the great thing about these live events is that it will get recorded and, and so you can catch up from the beginning on Christina's channel, sorry, Christina's channel, once once we finish up here. Yeah, definitely. It should be, it, I think it takes a minute to process, but then it should be yeah. up. And then Joe's going to do a try-on video and then I'll do a try-on video so you can see how some of these pieces actually look on. But yeah. um, it's so great to have so many people join us live. You know, we really didn't know. We were just like, well, maybe people will show up. We don't know. <laughs> Um, and I know that there's a delay for us reading the comments. And so if it seems like we're taking forever to read your comment, it's there's a bit of a delay happening. Oh, everyone's saying hi to Cranky Grandma. Maybe Cranky yeah. Aunt Grandma should get on the line with us at some point. We can do triple <laughs> unboxing. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, maybe, Monica, when you come back through the area, you and I can do it together. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's think about that. I mean, obviously, you've got a lot. She's got family in the area, so she's probably busy, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe exactly. I can wrangle her into it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been, I've been loving reading all these comments and stuff, too. Thanks, yeah. you guys, for... Um, you know, having this chat with us and, and uh, like I said, if there's anything, if you liked it, let us know. We'll do more. Um, but it's, for me personally, it's been so much fun seeing, mm-hmm. not just the unboxings, but seeing all of you come join us has been really cool. Thanks. I know. I mean, one of the great things about having a YouTube channel is just having a bit of a community. And I'm sure you find the same thing. Yeah. Um, you know, often sort of what really brings a smile to my day is, reading the comments and interacting with people that have our viewers, whether they have a channel or their own channel or not, it's irrelevant. It's just really nice to kind of chat about the things we love, especially since, you know, we're in stressful times. Sometimes we just need to talk about, you know, beauty and color and, uh, yeah, what, what felt good in our Stitch Fix box. Yeah, you said something interesting um, when we first started chatting about doing this, mm. how your approach to Stitch Fix is, um, you know, because we've both been getting so many boxes now. Um, but you, yeah. you have more of a well-being take on it, which I thought was really right. cool. Well, I realized, and, it, and some of this was just reflection because I went, I lived abroad for about 18 months recently in Ireland. And so I couldn't do any of my subscription boxes. And I realized, you know, we talk about the consumerism of them. Um, but beyond that, I realized it was a bit of self-care for me that there's a way in which it's a treat to myself. And so maybe I don't buy everything that I get. But there is something really special about getting a box of goodies yeah. of treats to try on. Yeah. That um, and, and that and that feels good, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's the same as having an evening where I'm like, I'm going to take a bath and do a and do a, a sheet mask, you know. It's the same, <laughs> yeah. It's that ex- and there's a sort of a childlike excitement that I get when I get something in the mail. Yeah. You know, that's just how it is. Yeah, I, I love that. Yeah, it, I feel the same. Like I, you know, I rarely keep everything, but it is something really. S- fun and special about just getting it and um you know having this moment it's like you know it does give you that happy birthday kind of christmas type moment when you get your fix (laughs) yeah absolutely and i think you know what what i found really great about watching you over the years is that your aesthetic is so strong you know you really love color and print 
Mm-hmm. And I think that many of us sort of are fearful of playing with that. So um, that's great. And that's great to see that Stitch Fix has been able to bring that to you, to you as well. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody, Caroline, just said, and Joe is a great teacher. You are a great teacher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Aww. funny because part of my day job is doing training. So I'm always, I always feel good when people say that. I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, well, goodness sakes. Well, we've been on for 45 minutes, so we're going to wrap yeah. it up. But um, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. This has just been more fun and, and delightful than I even imagined it would be. And um, the time has just flown by. It's just been yeah. great. But definitely, everyone, leave comments um, and let us know if you'd like to do if you'd like us to do something like this again. Because um, I think you know this could be a fun little get together once in a while. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, Joe, yeah. thanks again for agreeing to do this and it's just been Our so pleasure. much fun and uh, I will I can't wait to watch your try on video. It's going to be great. You too. I can't wait to see how that interesting blouse looks. That yeah. one I'm really excited to see. Yeah. Well, have a great um, rest of your International Women's Day and yes. um, a great rest of your weekend and thanks again to everybody who joined us and thanks to you, Joe. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for organizing this, Christine. Yay. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.